What's up YouTube, this is Masshole. I'm gonna show you how to swap out the Xbox sticks on a Battle Beaver Pro Pick and put uh, scuff sticks on instead. All right, so I bought this Battle Beaver Pro Pick a couple weeks ago. I really like it, but I don't like the stock Xbox sticks. So I personally prefer the scuff sticks. They have better grip, so for me anyways, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna swap these sticks out, show you how to do it. It's really easy. All you need is a T8 Torx uh, driver, some sort of pry tools to open up the controller. Um, that's about it, really. So let's get started. All right, so the hardest part for me anyway is just popping these um, side pieces off of the controller. So you need some sort of pry tool to do that. All right, so... If, if it's your first time doing this, you might struggle a little bit, but you just pop, you get your pry tool in here. I usually start at the top and then you pull down and you want to pop off the tabs, right? There's tabs holding it on. And do the same thing with this one. All right. There's five screws, five screws, excuse me, on the back of this controller that you need to loosen up and take off. Also behind the, in the battery compartment, there's a screw here as well, underneath the Battle Beaver sticker. All right, I usually do this screw last. All right. So yeah, just pull these screws out, super easy. Anyone can really do this. Believe me, I am by no means some Mr. Fix-It guy. All right. Yeah, I usually do this one last. You gotta just poke a hole in your Battle Beaver sticker or just take the sticker off completely, whatever, to get at that one. All right, so now you've got all your screws out. Face plate will come right off. <clears throat> Next step, pull your sticks off. You just pull them straight up. They should pop right off. All right, now on the scuff sticks, me personally, I prefer a short, uh, concave stick on the left and a, a tall dome stick on the right so you need to line these up and the way I do it just look for the scuff logo on the front with the little arrow pointing to the lower left right but you need to line these up correctly with the posts in order to get them on and they can sometimes be a little tight going on the first time so Okay, that one actually I got lucky that one went right on no problem again just use the logo as a guide all right all right that's it and put the face plate back on and then we're going to put the screws back in. Start with the uh, battery compartment. Nope. Oh, one second here. Like I said, I'm by no means. Mr. Fix-It guy, so if I could do this, anybody can do it, basically. You don't have to go super tight with these screws.
Alright. You can pick up one of these T8 drivers on Amazon for dirt cheap. You can, I think I got this in like a little toolkit, a little Xbox, PlayStation uh, toolkit. All right. Obviously, put your batteries in, put your cover back on, and then these just pop back on. You'll hear them. They'll just literally just snap back on. All right, there you go. Make sure, actually, see, make sure you push the stick in all the way. If you don't, it'll stick, right? So if you if you move this left stick up and it or down and it sticks, right? It doesn't move back to center, then it's just not pushed in all the way. So just push down on it with your thumbs, both of them, and just make sure that they're moving and returning back to center correctly. That's it. All right. Thanks. Let me know if you have any other questions.